So pre-pandemic, coming back to Bear, he went to Waldorf school? Yeah. And and what can you talk about what Waldorf is like versus a traditional public type school? Well, Waldorf is a school that's all over the world. Rudolf Steiner came up with it, I think, 100 years ago. I think we just celebrated 100 years of Waldorf education. Um, it's really beautiful and really sweet. It's, um, it's sort of an extension of Rye. I don't know if you've ever heard of Rye, but when you have little people in your life, Rye is a, a system also where they really see the child and they speak to children in such a beautiful way. And so um, anyway, Waldorf is... It actually has nothing to do with rye in terms of where it's born from, but I'm just giving people in case they know about rye, they'll be like, oh, I kind of know what that means. Um, but Waldorf is, you know, they don't have any plastic. Everything is nature and wood. Like when he was really little, they would, he would chop the vegetables in class and they would make soup. They made their own bread. That this was part of their schooling. And this is when they're in babies, you know, tiny babies. Um, but they just learn, you know, when they go to first grade, they start knitting, they're doing woodwork. They're, they, wait, they make their own uh, uh, needles with, you know, they make their own knitting needles with the wood and, sh and the shaving. And they just learn really, um, I don't know how to explain it, but the, I saw every single school in Los Angeles and nothing compares to Waldorf. It's the education is so beautiful. And we've done it in New York. We've done it in Chicago and we've done it in Atlanta and all of them share. It's, they're all the same. They're all different in that they're in a different state, but they're so The way they, I'm sorry, I'm not doing a good job of explaining this, but the easiest way I can explain it is that the kids who go through Waldorf and end up in high school will look you in the eye and say, hello, how are you? They can talk to you. They're centered in their body. They're not like, <laughs> they're, they're just trying to get back to their device. You know what I mean? They're, they're, set, they're comfy in who they are. There's something about Waldorf in the way they are so seen. No one's trying to make you turn into anything. You just, and you get an incredible education. I mean, it's the, they're doing all the things that you do in school, but they do it in a different way. It's, um, it's really beautiful. And I remember one of the schools I went to in New York with Bear, the teacher would, and again, they were in, I think it was preschool at the time, but the children would walk into the classroom and, sh and oh, here's the biggest difference. So I would go touring other schools and you would go to a kindergarten class and it was loud. And the teacher couldn't get them together. You should constantly trying to get them into a circle and like sit there and do just constant chaos, right? As you would expect, you go into a Waldorf kindergarten and everyone's quiet like a mouse and they're playing very, very peacefully. And if anything happens, the teacher might say, um, oh, no, thank you. Or come children. And they start singing or they'll start gathering the children by singing a very quiet song. And all the children run over and they're like, oh, and they come to, I mean, it's just, they never go get over here. Everybody come here. It's none of that. It's just sort of this mad, it's all magical. And it's so, the children are so respected and so seen and that I think they just respect back. And it's really quite beautiful to watch. And, and I, I definitely, oh, I was going to tell you about this lady. When you walked into her class, she had a bowl of lavender water. And the children would come and greet her and in the morning and she'd sit there and they'd come to the front, they'd come into the room and she'd say, hello, bear, how are you? And he, or good morning, bear. And he'd say, good morning, Mrs. I don't know, Patricia, Mrs. Patricia or something, Miss, Mrs. Patricia. And then he would, she'd take his little hands and they just wash them gently in this lavender water. And then they'd go about to play. It was just, I don't know how to explain why that was such a sweet welcoming, but it was, it touched me. And um, I love it. I love Waldorf so much. 